Hi guys, today I'll be showing you how you can flatten a text that you may have imposed on your PDF file. So in my case, as you can see, I have a text on the back side and I wanted to cover this with my own text. Um, and same thing here. So you may be filling out a form or making making a modification on a PDF file where you ne may need to do that. Uh, and what happens is once you email, make the change, and once you email it to somebody, they can move it around, you know, and they can get rid of the text that you have uh, put on or they can delete that, which you may not want. So the best way to do this is to flatten this text on top of your um, uh, a PDF file, basically. And uh, there's a way to do that. You know, I searched all over the internet. I was not able to find in the answer and then kind of played around with it, figured it out. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. So uh, what you need is uh, you need this, you need to go into the tool section on the top right. And uh, over here, you're gonna see an option, print production and pre-flight. Now, some of you may not see that on there. So again, don't panic. Uh, you go right here to view. And under tools, this is where you're going to see um, print production right here. So uh, once you click on this, it's going to automatically show up right here as a shortcut. So then what you need to do is uh, once you're done with your changes, like in my case, I'm done. You know, I have these uh, four texts, you know, that I have imposed on top uh, and I want to flatten them. So what I do is I just go to print production, click on pre-flight. And on pre-flight, over here, you're going to see a bunch of different options. And you can play around which one works for you. But uh, I think the one I'm going to use is flatten annotations and form field. Just save it on top of that file. So once I did that, as you can see over here, I cannot make that change. So now the new file that I saved, it's already embedded. You know, I can even try to make that and as you can see I cannot move it around so this is the best way to flatten anything and this is permanent so guys this is pretty much how you do that you know hopefully you like the video if you like the video please subscribe to my channel and like the video thank you